Hello. 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 The sig- the signals aren't clear. Hello. Did you read me? Hello. 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 It's me, for, uh, Freddy. Freddy. Five Nights at Freddy guy. We've all got walkie talkies in here, man. I can't hear you unless you say over, over. Over. Oh, okay, I keep kid. forgetting I, to move the microphone me. closer. What's up, everyone? Welcome to episode six of the Generally Speaking Podcast. Ow, I just bumped my head on the goddamn microphone. Not too close now. You don't want to uh, repeat what happened. Yeah, 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 yeah. don't worry about it. Don't worry oh, yeah. about it. Well, I'm worried. I got to take my cap off because um, it's bumping the microphone. Yeah, let your brain fume out. Oh, yeah, it's leaking. Cut. It's leaking. Yeah, Hold on. Like a brain cap on the top of your skull. You open it and let all the steam come out. Oh, my brain's leaking out of my ears. No, you're letting out too much steam. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, that's going to make everyone click away from the podcast. Um, welcome, everyone who stayed. Everyone who survived the disgusting welcome to the horror stream. Sound. Welcome horror, to the horror, horror stream. It's only going to get worse here. I have an ass cap. <laughs> hey. Well, secret. Yeah. yeah. Let's let's talk about the most topical thing that's going on in Iceland right now. Motherfucking earthquakes! Woo woo woo! We, we're ha- earthquakes. We're that having might a party. Turn into an eruption that might. Yeah. Just a lot might. of a lot of people are thinking there might be a volcanic eruption about to happen. Please don't. Please don't. If that I, happens, please uh, donate to my Patreon so I can survive. <laughs> <laughs> You're not even close to the fucking thing. I am. Hey, so donate fumes, to my Patreon. The fumes. Excuse me, but I have weak lungs. The fumes are going to. <laughs> yeah. What are you gonna buy with your? What are you gonna buy with your Patreon money? New lungs. Oh. It's the only like, way. Like uh, an iron lung. No, just new ones. Uh, uh, plastic lung. <laughs> I just said new one, so I'm not going to say what kind, okay? All right, all right. That's going to come as a surprise, I guess. Yes. I mean, uh, next time I meet you, you're going to have your, like, open stomach. Your lungs are hanging out, and you're like, oh, you see I'm anything gonna different about me? i have my new lungs stapled to my chest. <laughs> and, yeah, you're going to be like, notice anything different? <laughs> and my notice breath <laughs> sounds <laughs> like this. <laughs> 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 Uh, but yeah, it's been quaking. Iceland's been quaking these past couple of weeks. It's scared of something. Um, yeah. It started on, what, Wednesday, Thursday last week? And it's still going. It's it's not stopping. There was a one big one today <coughs> when I was... Um, uh, bless you. When I was... Uh, Don't bless me, ma'am. Bless Iceland. Yeah, bless Iceland. Um, when I was uh, just home from school, I was looking at my phone... Um, looking at like all the news and shit, and I just fucking <laughs> lying in bed. I I start shaking and I fell asleep because like a little baby, you know, the 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 earthquake oh, was rocking yeah. me around, and so I like I fell asleep. The entire country was rocking you to sleep. <laughs> uh, uh-huh. But yeah, and and then like you, I'm in the capital city. That's where the earthquakes are like around here. They're they're the you closest. You doxed yourself. They're the. <laughs> Yeah. No, everybody knows. <laughs> they're very close. They can triangulate. <laughs> they're very close to where I am. With GPS. Stop. No, no. Yeah. Me, 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 me. The earthquakes are, like, very close to where I am. But uh, you you are, uh, like... Further you're, away. You're, like, a two-hour <laughs> drive away from me, and you can st- you can also feel them. My brother, Some of them. And my brother also felt the one that... I felt at like four today when I got home from school. Like he sent me a video of uh, of himself like recording at home, and uh, mm. you could see like the lamps and shit like shaking around. It's scary, man. If it starts yeah. fucking, it's, if a volcano starts erupting, I'm gonna like I'm gonna have to leave. I can't stay here. I yeah, think I have to go. I to only where you uh, are. I only really noticed the uh, the large one, the one that was like I don't know six point one or no, six point no, no. seven. No, was, there was a five point seven. Five okay, point, five it hasn't. Seven. It has not gone past five point, or like it has not gone like above um, six or anything like that. It's always stayed under. But there were people, there were geologists or whatever it's called, like predicting there would be a six point five one on the Richter scale. 
Um, but we haven't. Oh yeah. We haven't felt that one yet. Well, I predict a nine on the Wall Seeker scale. <laughs> How do I measure that? Two cups of water. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, that's a ten. Oh, ooh, okay, okay. The um. Did you for, feel the, for for those wondering, what the fuck are the numbers we're saying? Uh, that, uh, that's the Richter scale. If um. If you don't know the you, Richter scale, the education system has failed on you. Exactly. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> um. And also, this is the. Like, well, the first time I ever felt an earthquake was last year, sometime in like. November there was a big one just like one earthquake that happened one day and it was it was kind of crazy I, I uh, What first time in your life? It's, yeah, it's the first time I ever felt one and I was just like what the fuck, you know I like I didn't expect mm. it and I was at you know because of COVID I was at home I, I, like uh, at like during a zoom meeting at school and like me and everyone at the meeting at the like zoom meeting from the school or zoom class um, Everyone like freaked out Everyone was like, uh, everyone felt that earthquake. One of my one of my classmates like had to catch a bottle of wine because it was like falling off his shelf. My collection. My collection. One hundred year old wine. Mm, yes. And um, here's an now, idea. Now, now for a whole week, I've been feeling earthquakes just like happening every now and then, and even like. I, I keep feeling like these smaller ones that I'm I'm not actually sure if they're earthquakes or I, I think you're or just if I'm just your mind. or if I'm just farting so loud that like my my body starts shaking around I don't know it could no. be that one as well. You're losing your mind. <laughs> yeah. You're right. Well, how can I? Well, uh, how can I lose something I didn't already have? Mm-hmm. Gotcha. <laughs> what are you, the Joker? Did you did you see that in I think um I don't know if it was a trailer or if it was like I, I, they put that line in an actual movie with Jared Leto as the Joker basically <laughs> where Jared Leto says yeah, what did he say did like, he say no <laughs> what mm, wait did, no did Jared Leto say no they like asked him are you the Joker and he just said no <laughs> No, 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 that's not the line they put in. Uh, the, they, they put the we live in a society line in the movie. Sorry. I was, uh, uh, you that's, that's the sentence. humiliate me live on podcast. The sen- I forgot to finish the story. The, the, you the sentence. didn't correct yourself. You didn't. Well, I did now. Oh. And you've d- <laughs> you joked yourself. Oh, my man. God. And I am the, the Joker. Podcast. And we live in a society. <laughs> that's the sound of me cutting the tape. Oh Cutting the podcast tape. Cut. Uh, oh. Well, cut. The podcast That's a over. Cut right there. Um, sorry guys, I cut too much. <laughs> oh no, we're re-recording it. <clears throat> All right, start over. Okay, what are we here? Hello everyone, welcome to the um, hey, sixth episode of the Generally Speaking podcast. Actually, um, seven. We lost the other. One. We, we already lost did the this joke. <laughs> we already did the last one. Yeah, but you know, we did it again. We're improving, okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. We are. I think like this machines. is. The, I'm pretty sure this is the sixth one. Um, it's gonna be the seventh, and you're gonna be so embarrassed. Yeah, yeah it's when the sixth one. No, it's the seventh. Oh, <laughs> yeah, um, I'm gonna record also, my own podcast as like episode six and upload <laughs> it before this one. Uh, uh, for for in in podcast news, uh. The, the theme that plays at the start of my podcast is just something I've had on my computer for a while. It's a royalty-free song that I found for a video I made a long time ago and just never deleted the song. Uh, but we're getting, uh, or I'm getting my own podcast song, p- podcast theme song um, that's yeah. going to be playing at the as an intro and outro. And so um, you can look forward to that. I don't think it's going to be ready for this episode, but the the person that's making it for me, she said that she's going to have um something uh, she's going to have some of it finished on Wednesday and Thursday, but we're still like working on like, you know, finalizing it and everything. So, uh yeah. <coughs> it's going to like it's very that. it's very <coughs> exciting. This podcast is turning more and more up Professional. If you have any suggestions for the podcast, uh, 
yeah, fuck that. Fuck you. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> leave them in the trash. <laughs> <laughs> and don't let the door hit you on the way out, bitch. Yeah. Oh, uh, oh, I'm so sorry. It hit. It hit him on the way out. Uh, what the hell, man? It hit them. Now they're I'm gonna sue so, us. So they're sorry. gonna sue us for, for, for <laughs> assault, for well, slamming the door. Where, at uh, them. I guess this is where I disappear. No. Oh. <laughs> hey, everybody, it's. He's back. Me. Yeah, I lost all my money <laughs> in the uh, the court case. <laughs> Ten years so later, yeah, moving, uh, moving swiftly on. Moving swiftly on. What else is in the news? Uh, your mama. Tom Cruise. Oh shit! Why did you say your mama? The fuck, dude. What did I say? What? What the fuck? I don't remember <laughs> saying anything. Tom Cruise is not in the news, okay? Kiss ya. <laughs> I hope everybody enjoyed that. <laughs> I hope nobody enjoyed that. So you want to hey. kiss Tom Cruise, huh? Well, okay. Well, Seeker, is it weird that I've been mm -hmm. playing Cookie Clicker a lot? It depends. Has okay. there been a recent update to this? I don't think so. Game? I just like recently opened it again and went, like, oh, Cookie Clicker. I started playing Cookie Clicker again. I don't know why. I will give it three on the Wichter scale. Ah, nice. Um, A mix the, between weird and Richter. <laughs> there is also uh, two other things I started doing. Um, I started uh, taking a Killing shower. People. And uh, no, um, I started... But yeah, I started didn't. doing Sudokus for some reason, and I also started playing GeoGuessr. Am I turning into an old man? Is this I me? think you're turning into a <gasps> Gen X. <gasps> By the way, okay, Gen so X. at school the other day, some kids were talking about Flash games they played, and and they were like asking me like what games I played, and um, yeah. they they asked me about some game. <laughs> I don't remember what it was, but then they were like, what mm. the hell, you didn't, uh, like, I told them I didn't play it, and yeah. they were so surprised, they asked me, like, what game did you play, like, Bubbles or some shit, and, and I told them, actually, uh, I did like Bubbles when I was a kid, you know, it's like this game uh -huh. where you have, like, balls, and you have to shoot those balls at other color, like, same colored balls to, like, pop yeah, them. Like a Little demon. You're like, like no, 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 not not bubble, what? not bubble trouble or whatever it's called. That was, uh, that's the one where you're like a little demon. I'm talking about it, uh, that game where you're like a little cannon and you have like and you have to you, match three. You, yeah, you have to match something. three match or, four, or or match or three or or more basically match three or greater. Uh, yeah. So that game. And so he was like, oh, what are you playing that? And I said, like, oh, actually, I did play that. And was, he was like, what are you, an old woman? Like, what the hell? <laughs> he was like, and, and, and I realized, wait, yeah, actually, my grandma plays that a lot. And <laughs> just now I had this thought while, we, while I was thinking about that. Like, I wonder what my grandma's doing now because, like, they shut down Flash. Oh, yeah. So I wonder if she's just, like, Stunful. depressed because she can't play no, Bubbles anymore. No, no, no. She's probably found like an HTML5 version. <laughs> no more bubbles for grandma. She's found like a JavaScript <laughs> version of it. She always plays that game or like Mahjong or something like that, you know? Yeah, it's not Flash. Mahjong. Now it's HTML5 Mahjong. Baby. That's right. Web development. Here we go. <laughs> what the hell's going on? I can't play bubbles anymore. Help me. Somebody help me. please help me. Grandma, I said HTML5 bubbles, <laughs> not flash. You <laughs> goddamn. Oh, God. Oh, stop, please. Stop. This episode was brought to you by Domestic Abuse. So, um. <laughs> uh, the code is slap your grandma 20% off. It's not funny, dude. We can't if make fun of domestic in, abuse. There's people if you who type actually in, had domestic we'll abuse happen to them. We'll get a big stop man named stop. Bill to go to your house and slap your grandmother. <laughs> in fact, we also have a secret code. If you put that in, Bill is going to send her to the moon. Yeah, and that code is... With some GameStop stocks. Hell yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're gonna yeah, we throw in some GameStop stocks as well. Yeah, Bill and maybe some a, Dogecoin. Uh, what they call in the industry a uh, a Buffett stock. Ooh. First he 
buffs you, as in like beats you up, and then he gives you like stocks, you know. Stock options, that is. You like that? There's a sound clip of him <laughs> giving you some advice. <laughs> so yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna <gasps> beat your ass, and no. then I'm gonna give you... Uh, I'm gonna recommend AMD as a uh, value long-term stock option. Nice. Uh, so if you're if you're in the uh, tech interest, if minute. you're in the know, wait a minute. Uh, Is that Carlos? Uh, 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 no. <laughs> hey, hey, get out of here! Get out of here! Shoo! Please. <laughs> get the fuck out of here! I have an OnlyFans now. Could and, you please? And don't let the door put, hit you on the way out. Put, put, please put that in the description, please. <laughs> oh shit, he's dead. Yeah, I slammed, I slammed him on the door. Good. You know. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Um. Ow. So, uh, let's talk about our weeks. We've we've talked about. The earthquakes. Now let's talk about what we're working and they on. They suck. What the fuck? The earthquakes suck. Oh uh, yeah, I give these earthquakes at least a 4.5 out of five stars. Not five. <sighs> God damn I it. I give I give earthquakes a 10% on the moist meter. Oh, <gasps> Charlie. <laughs> well, hey, what's up, everybody? It's oh, me, what's Critical. Up? Hey, what's up, everybody? It's me, Critical. Uh. I give earthquakes a ball sack out of a crummy motherfucker on the Richter scale. <laughs> on the Richter meter. <laughs> on the moist. So yeah, what were we gonna talk about again? Something about our weeks or something? Yeah, last week we started at my school uh, mm. working on making documentaries, and in that week my teacher like asked everyone to watch some documentaries, and I think like. O only me and one other kid actually did it, or one other guy <laughs> in my class. And I watched at least four new documentaries that I'd never seen before. And um, <laughs> they were very fun. I'm not going to like talk about them too much. I'm just going to like mention them, and then people m might check them out. Um, yep. Give I them a shout-out. Give them a shout-out. Uh, I watched... our million <laughs> dollar audience. Yeah. If you have Netflix, I watched The, the Social Dilemma. Which is basically um just like uh, a sh a documentary. It's like an hour and forty minutes long about just you know the social networks that we use in our day to day life and how their effect on us. Very interesting. Uh, if you have do Netflix, they mention Reddit? <laughs> they do not mention Reddit. I I don't think they do. They mention like Twitter and Facebook, Dang. mostly Facebook, uh, and then Google and stuff like that. Flugel. Yeah. And so, if you have saying. Netflix, definitely check that one out. Um, then I watched one documentary called Man on Wire, and it's about this French guy that went to the US of A when the Twin Towers were newly built and put a wire between them and walked across like a fucking mm. maniac. And there were shots in there where, like, the camera would look off the top of the towers, and I thought I was going to be sick. Like, I was actually just like, oh, because uh, uh, I am terrified oh. of heights. And, like, I couldn't imagine doing what he was doing. He literally, without any sort of harness or anything, just walked across the Twin Towers and also just, like, laid down and shit. Like, oh, oh what the fuck? Mm -hmm. uh, I was just laid down on the wire. Exactly. Very interesting documentary about, like, his uh, story, basically, about, like, how how this guy, you know, got to that point and like how they got into the towers because uh, it was very much not legal. Um, you know those wire walking one. things? They're fake. What? It was all green yeah. screen? It was all faked? No, come on. They didn't use green screen all the way back then. Come on, use your mind. <laughs> okay. No, what they really do is they actually do walk on the wire, but if they were to fall, they have like a little yo-yo under their shoe it's like tied to the Zoom? wire uh, they just like so yeah. if they were to fall down they don't die they just you know they hang upside down by the yo-yo they sit back up like a yo-yo yeah that's pretty cool the yo-yo the yo-yo's gravity like pulls them back up <laughs> sick dude yo zip i'm not gonna tell you where i read about that because you know it's an exclusive newspaper Reddit. <gasps> no <laughs> no, no? 
No, um, I would never. <laughs> the th the th third documentary <laughs> I saw was called Exit Through the Gift Shop, and the the teacher sort of told us that it was about Banksy, this like famous British um, anonymous artist that like nobody knows. He's just called Banksy. No one knows like his real voice or face or name or anything. Uh, and he makes very cool like graffiti and street art. Looks mm. looks absolutely stunning, and it's basically a movie about the guy who made the movie. <laughs> you know, it's weird. <laughs> it's 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 such a weird thing. It's it's kind of about these street artists, but it's also about the guy who like shot all the footage of that like of the street artists that was used in the movie. Uh, mm. And it's called Exit Through the Gift <laughs> Shop, and it's fantastic. I I, I love that one. I recommend checking it out. Um, mm -hmm. And then the best documentary I watched last week was Michael Moore's Bowling for Columbine. Absolutely for fantastic movie. Very much just him uh, just, just fucking telling America how it really is. You know, telling America to wake the fuck up and notice that there is a gun problem. That's what the documentary is about. Um, and it's it's amazing. It's actually it's it's funny, sarcastic, while also being very much just like real. It's it's mm. so real. Everything he talks about is just like a real problem. I mean, it is a documentary. Yeah, exactly. Real people, real it's, problems. Yeah. So um, all of the documentaries I just mentioned, definitely go check them out. I will be watching more because. Um, so you give them all a recommend. What? So you recommend them all? Yes, I recommend all of those. Not a single one of those was like one that I like did not like. Um, and after taking this course at school, I think I'm gonna check out even more documentaries. She sent like a the teacher sent like a whole list of documentaries she recommended, and it's like 20 plus movies. <laughs> so I'm like, all right, <laughs> sick. I'm just gonna watch a lot of these. Fuck yeah. Um, sick. So yeah. Uh, and I'm sure I'll talk about them more. I was going to ask on the podcast, um, with, like, movies and stuff like that, um, uh, this is for the viewers. I don't know if anyone's going to answer this, but do you think I should make a, uh, a, a specific show for just talking about movies and reviewing movies or stuff like that on this YouTube channel? Or should I just... Is it fine if I talk about them on the podcast? Because, um, you know... I, I feel like I'm talking way too much about movies where Wall Seeker hasn't even seen them and he's just sort of listening. <laughs> and it's like, I don't, uh, hmm, maybe that's just me. You're just, you know, I don't know. Yeah, I'm introducing you and everyone else to the movies, but maybe I um, I should make a different show for that. So I'm asking the viewers what they think. Um, either you either you make a different show or you just, you know, I don't know, limit, limit yourself to a certain <sighs> time slot. Yeah, exactly. In the podcast or something. Maybe do time slots for the app. Yeah, that would be cool. Maybe like a 15 or a 10 minute type of deal. Yeah. <coughs> that makes sense. That makes sense. Um, and then, well, well, one more thing I watched this weekend was um, a movie called Le Over the Wall. And it's a Japanese animated movie by a animator called Masaki, I think. Um, uh, Masaki Yuasa, that's what his name is. And it was fantastic. Such a great animated film. Um, I About a little girl who falls down a sewer hole, sewer drain. <laughs> right? Yes. No. Um, oh, but, so the, but there is a little mermaid girl in the movie. So a little girl, water. You, you were almost right. You were 30% uh, yeah. there. You are 30% there. More like 60. Yeah. Well, uh, oh, 60% and it's, it's like, oh, I, I don't want to talk about it too much because I just recommend everyone try and like check it out wherever don't they can. Don't spoil it. Because it was, it that. was, it was beautiful. The animation was so much fun. The, the, it's like the animators knew that they were working with animation. So they knew that they could do literally everything. They could do whatever they wanted and they play around with it. And, um... That Playing the, with the eyeballs. <laughs> and, uh, oh, was, you took my eyeballs out. <laughs> I put them back in so I, I can see. I've seen Thank another you. movie by Masaki Yuasa called The Night is Short, Walk On Girl. And both of these movies have very, like, 
fun art styles and f- and uh, excuse me whoa 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 i just ate before this podcast sorry um it's all gonna come out yeah i'm gonna like throw up the no, truth's no. gonna come out uh, <laughs> and um that movie was also pretty good the night is short walk on girl like the animation it they they know that they're just like having fun with it and uh mm. that's that's it yeah and the characters are really fun especially in uh lu over the wall and the music is great Wonderful. very very good i will be watching this director this animator with a great intent you give the movie a three out of no 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 lu o- over the wall i gave a five out of five on uh letterboxd you can give five stars five i don't whole understand stars. is that like a 90 percent of the moist meter or what? <laughs> no that's a hundred percent on the moist meter charlie oh my god oh my god <laughs> oh my god uh, wow and so yeah i gave i gave the movie a hundred percent because i just i i really fucking liked it it's the most unique sort of animated film I've seen in a long time. Mm. I really liked it. Um, that's what I like to hear. That's what I like to hear, baby. I like to hear the goods. But what did you do last week? Did you see anything? Did you play any new games? Well, Stop. Stop the presses. I'm stopping. I'm, I'm stopping. I know. Beep. Okay. Hold on. I gotta check the calendar to make sure I don't repeat myself. Okay, we did. Okay. The last podcast was on a Sunday. Yes. That we recorded. Yeah, it's Monday. The day after it's- that, I put out my little video <gasps> that I cut together Ooh. or edited. Just a Wait, little, you know, gaming video. You uploaded a video? Yeah. What? Last week? Yeah, I did. Yeah, on a Monday. Wait, wait, hold on. Why didn't I see this? I put, I th- I'm pretty sure I put this into <laughs> our uh, Facebook group. <sighs> well, so yeah, it was just you know the video <laughs> for for those who don't have all the time in the world. The video is simply just like a little short little gaming video. Oh wait, did you I make a new channel? Is that why I didn't get it in my yeah. subscriber feed? Oh okay, shit. Okay, good. I thought it was a terrible friend for not having seen it, but like. Fuck! I'm sorry. No, I made I made a new channel because yeah. you know. I gotta go subscribe. I can't change I gotta the go name on the older one. Okay. Um. Yeah. It's just like a little gaming video. Or where I play like uh, like ranked in two specific games, which are Apex Legends and CS:GO, and I run into a few. I mean, yeah, a few characters, and I just you know. Cut, cut a little highlight out of it. <laughs> I found it. I found it. I will definitely be putting this in the description for people to see, along with the, the new YouTube channel link. So everybody go subscribe to Wall Seeker yeah, on YouTube new link. For, um, for his uh, YouTube videos. Right now, it just said, or like on the other podcast, it used to say to be added. But now there should be a link to his YouTube channel. In all of them, I'm gonna make sure to put it in. Yep. Hell yeah! <clears throat> <laughs> I'm so, so sad. Yeah, I I don't know why I didn't watch it. I think I like must have been doing something. When when did you send it? <coughs> it was like Monday last. I just as soon yeah when I as soon as I uploaded it. Let me see. On the Monday, I just put it out there. You sent it. I was probably streaming when you sent it because it says you sent it at 8:39. So it's probably mm-hmm. live streaming. I must have opened my phone and went, "Okay, they they they're sending stuff like you and also our good friend Connor and something." And I just like did not watch it. Whoops. Uh, <clears throat> live. Uh, <laughs> I, I have I it open. I it on stream. I have it open right now. Bam on my fucking. Mon- uh, on my uh, second monitor so I will be watching it when we're done recording the podcast. Everybody go check yeah. out uh, Wall Seeker Ranked Amateur. Thank you. Woo. Thank you. Wait, hold on. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> you also... You, yeah? You wrote you wrote amateur wrong. It says amateur. Wait, what? 
Everybody, stop. Stop <laughs> watching the podcast. <laughs> Don't watch the video. <laughs> It's uh, yeah. Uh, the U the the U comes after the E at the end there. Amateur. <laughs> I'm gonna edit this live. <laughs> live right now. Fix the fix the YouTube channel link so nobody can see that. That's a bit. That's embarrassing. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, wonderful, wonderful. Not only did I forget to watch your video, but now I'm like, now I'm like <laughs> fixing your grammar and everything. Sack. Sick. Um, what else did you do last week? You uploaded the video. Very good, very mm -hmm. good. I'll have to watch it and then talk about it in the next podcast. Uh, I also have to edit the next... Um, this podcast will be up on Thursday, but I have to upload the next uh, Twitch Clips video for Friday. Mm -hmm. You better. I better. Or else I will... I don't uh, like a chainsaw. my. Uh, I don't know what's wrong with me with like editing videos, but like I, I barely edit anything anymore. I barely upload on YouTube. But now that I've given myself this sort of task of uploading every Thursday a podcast and every f like first the first Friday of every month, uh, a, a, like a Twitch clips video from that month. You know I. Yeah, I've been uploading way more like consistently with those times like every f the first Friday of every month I've always like released the twitch clips video and every Thursday mm -hmm. of every week There's a new podcast or at least you know right now. This is gonna go it's gonna go into um, Badly aged things when when we stop uploading podcasts in uh, 10 years. All right What? <laughs> 10 years? What? <gasps> I was gonna say something Yeah Sorry. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna make another video. That's what I was gonna say. Ooh. Uh, but that, the video you made, you told me that you were working on it a while ago. You told me that you had been, um, you told me that you had been recording a bunch of clips and stuff from just all kinds of video games, and you were throwing something together with that. So I'm assuming this is one of those videos, at least. This is one. Yeah. From two games. Ooh, okay. okay. I'm excited to see have... what else you do. I have plenty more. I have plenty in the chamber. Oh, exciting! Very exciting. I um, I have one hour and forty minutes of a very special moment that happened. I, I mean, a session in Insurgency Sandstorm where I met, oh. ran into someone. <laughs> all right, all right. I'm not gonna say anything else. Don't don't you know, spoil it. Gonna, you know, but you're gonna, gonna you're gonna edit it down, right? You're not gonna have it that long. Yeah. Yeah. But but that's not the next project. Okay. Okay. I have another. You have one. something else. That you I have something else that's you know already. So in you you've got a lot of you got a lot cutting. of things in the uh, cooking in the oven right now. I'm I'm excited. I'm excited to got, see. I've subscribed. I've got a few things. Got a few cards up your sleeve. I've I've um. Just one at a time. Yeah. That's, that's how I'm gonna approach this. I've uh, I've subscribed to your channel, and everybody else should do that the same. And um, miss Thank you. don't miss out on his uploads. Also, don't forget you can follow me on Facebook. You can stalk me on Twitter. You can <laughs> steal me on Reddit. You can what? Google me on OnlyFans. Yeah, kidnap him in real life. His real life address is. Oh my god, I can't believe you fucking gave up my address and <laughs> my credit ah, card numbers. Everybody go, ah. everybody go find him, everybody go get him. Go beat him, go beat him up. He also gave away my dog's he full has, name. Yeah, he has two dogs. Take both of them. Take yeah, them. full names of both of them. Oh my <laughs> god. Yes. Mm. Ah. So, well, how about... School? Are, are you just doing the same thing every time in school? Because like my school seems to be always like, ev you know, every other week there's something new that I gotta be doing. Like this week we're no longer doing the documentary stuff. We're we're already starting on like the next project. Mhm. Mm um, we're we're supposed to start making a introduction film. That's supposed to we get like one day to record it, and it's supposed to be like one minute to maybe three minutes or something. And um, it, it's just a movie that introduces us as directors, basically, like our style, what what kind of movies we want to make, 
Uh, and it mm -hmm. doesn't even have to be the type of movies you want to make. Just something that, like, you make that's, like, in your character, I guess. And, um... So what do you do? Uh, I've, you know, I haven't really gotten a concrete idea, but the idea that I got was, like, I wanted to kind of make, like, a... Uh, short thriller that's like how I envisioned it was uh, a car parked next to a lighthouse and then it you know it's been left in like a rush you'll see the the car doors open and shit and then you you go up up the, the lighthouse and you know once we get to the top we see a man in a suit and he's like dusting himself off and like you know Dusting yeah. his like palms off and everything, and then it we just oh. cut to a uh, a corpse or something. I, I, that's how I envision mm -hmm. it. I don't know if I can do that, but like you know, I want to like make he it look like somebody hands. throws someone off the lighthouse, basically. Um, it's not like what a if there's like you know at the bottom, I don't know. There's like you know maybe like you know the the tarp or like I don't know something that the body was wrapped in like got loose and there's like only like blood on like the tarp but Ooh. you don't see the body because i don't know it yeah like fell out of it you're right into the ocean or something i don't know the, the I'm just spitball uh, it's the it's uh, the lighthouse that i want to use is the one next to my uh, close to my grandma's house you've seen it before it's not that close yeah. to the ocean really so i don't know if i could do that but yeah something something like that the body uh, uh, what if you like I don't know frame it like I don't know it looks like oh the ladder is, is close to the ocean yeah exactly it's maybe like I could a... do that I could make it look like it's it's closer so we'll see you better see but then like come on. the thing that I was wondering is just like it's a murder rather than like it, it's not anyone disposing of a body because why would you if you could just like throw it off you know into the ocean why wouldn't you do that instead of climbing the lighthouse and then throwing it off? I mean, okay, un there's... unless you're unless you're like, oh, I really like when it makes a big splash. I gotta go up the lighthouse. Yeah. <laughs> I really gotta go up the <laughs> lighthouse. Oh my god! Oh and my just, god! Just put a ton of blood on the ground or something. I don't know. Yeah. I I <gasps> I, I it's, it's like how I envision it is. Um, and I know this sounds fucked up, but I kind of wanted to have it be like sort of shocking with like you see the dead body just like lying on the ground beneath the lighthouse, you know, after he's done it. But then again, I don't know if I want to, I don't know if I want that to be my introduction film, but that, you know, I want to make something like that, like a thriller, something spooky, something to keep you on your seat. Also, I just spoiled my introduction film for everyone hey who hasn't seen it, but hey. My name is General Lars, and uh, the type of films I like to do is... And then they, like, cut you off, and it's just, like, you know, tons of real forensic photos. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, General Lars has been arrested. <laughs> Fucking freak. Um, Stealing yeah. our photos. How did he get in here? <laughs> so, like I, like I was asking, like, are you still just, like you know programming same old same old or like what are you what are you doing right now at school it's been it's been the same okay okay it's, 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 it's the it same you know it's programming what, what, what are you programming like what are you doing right now are you making you're still making just like websites or what are you doing no 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 <gasps> oh excuse me not this time hold on this time wait do you hear that <laughs> all right keep did going you hear that <laughs> stop, stop! But you said you told me to keep going. <laughs> she cut all of that out, but I'm not gonna. Alright, keep going. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, like I was saying, <laughs> um, I'm currently learning about. Your mama? Different. Yeah, I'm learning about your mother. What the fuck? <laughs> no. A different what? Different types of searching algorithms. Mm -hmm. And okay. it is interesting. Google, that's a that's a searching algorithm. You're right. <gasps> I mean, it's interesting learning about the different types of searching algorithms because they're specialized, and you know some of them have a bit of an interesting history. Mm, okay, okay. Like for example, one of the searching algorithms, I think it was either insertion sort or selection sort. The guy who invented it, he's still alive. Okay. And 
he wasn't a programmer. The only what? and he he basically he was trying to translate like Russian to English, <laughs> and the way he was doing it was similar to like either selection sort or insertion sort. And yeah, he couldn't program, and he had to like learn programming <laughs> in order to explain it to other people. <laughs> Nice. And and I mean, yeah, it's, he, he, it's an algorithm. He went the long uses. way. He went the hard way about it. Yeah, I mean, it's funny. <laughs> Wasn't a program, but still, you know, stumbled upon this. That's... That's one of them. That's what it is. I find it interesting, but it can be difficult oh. doing the assignments. Okay, okay. Because, because it's like, okay... We've been, you know, learning and reading about this al- searching algorithm. Now I want you to implement it, but I also want you to do like three or two extra things. A handstand. It's like jumping jacks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, a it's basically like that. It's like okay, take this, you know, selection sort algorithm, but I want you to find like the last thing in the, in in like the selection type of deal. Mm. Okay. And you're like, you can't just be like, oh, hey, it's over here at the end. You have to be like, you have to like find it like while it's searching or sorting. Oh. And that can be I difficult. Yeah. Do you, wait, so, and also like while you're programming, because as someone who kind of also wants to learn how to do programming, at least like for video games and stuff like that. Do you do a lot of math in any of that, or like, do you, or at least for a searching al- algorithm, you probably do no, a lot of math. No, there's there's right? no math. No math. Um, actually, there is math in terms of how complex the algorithm is. Okay, okay. Like the search. Yeah. Because some of them are good at like, <clears throat> some of them are good at sorting stuff. Yeah. But they're but they could be really bad at like finding something at like the end of like uh, an array. Hmm. So it's all it's you you gotta like select. It's like okay. I I need something. I need to find like I don't know, F at like the end of an array. Yeah. I don't I don't need to sort it. I'll just use this algorithm. And if you didn't you know, learn this, then you probably would have chosen something which would have, you know, taken a lot of computer time, computer processing time, and be like a waste of time, energy, and money. Welcome back. Yeah, welcome back. Uh, like what we're saying we about just, algorithms. Yeah, we just fell into the void, sorry. We just, yeah. <laughs> we just got pulled into the void, met Uncle Satan on, down there. He was like, hey guys, how are you doing? How are you doing with the podcast? And we're like, uh, oh, Uncle Satan, yeah, we're kind of, we're in the middle of a podcast. And he's like, oh shit, sorry, sorry. And he sent us right back. Oh, uh, sorry, but he guys. said he will be back for us. Um, you know. It's nice to hear. But yeah, if you're going <laughs> to program for like uh, video games, there is some amount of math involved. Ah, and okay, what okay. I mean by that is like, like, you know, if your character is running in a direction, it like, you know, it adds, you're, you're going to program like, oh, okay, when he's running, add like 50 speed. And that's like a number. And that's like the acceleration. Oh, and then, you okay. Know, yeah, yeah. And then when you maybe let go of the right key, it like slows down. And, you know, you can do that quickly. But it's not nothing really complex. Yeah. Well, when I was like, if you kid, if you need something, if you need something specific, you can probably Google it. Yeah. If you or you could just like you know, you could probably like get help from others and shit if there's something you don't understand and things like that. Yeah. Um. But like when I was younger, when I was a kid, uh, I wanted to do programming myself. Um, mm-hmm. Wait, hold on. Uh, there we go. I wanted to program myself, uh, but you know, my brother kept like making fun of me that like because he found some meme where where it was like, 
oh, people who say they want to program but they don't know any or they don't want to learn math or some shit like that. And he kept laughing at me like, oh, you have to, you have to be good at math to be able to program. And then I know a lot of people have, that have gone into programming. Like I know you and I know uh, a cousin of mine and also uh, a former st or like a student or a former student from our grade school that I that I used to talk with a lot. Um, mm -hmm. All of you have thus far told me that you don't really need to know math. You can sure there's math that's used, but it's not yeah. like it's not like it's fucking it like it's not it's that big a deal. It's not gonna it's not gonna like pull a pull a fastball it's, on you. You know, it's not gonna be that scary. No, exactly. All right. Unless you were to go into something like I don't know three three D graphics programming. Yeah. Then there's a bit. Uh, some amount of math involved but if you're doing like i don't know games it's it should not be a problem okay should be able to i handle well, well mostly what i want to do with video games actually is isn't even programming i don't know why i as a kid wanted to like i always said programming but mostly i just wanted to help with game design and like you know i wanted to help make the world and like mm -hmm. the art and stuff like that but I, yeah. you know, I do want to know a little bit about programming at least, so that I can, you know, understand that a bit better. But I'm, mm -hmm. I, I, you know, I would love to do some digital art and, um, yeah. and just, you know, build characters and 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 worlds and and all kinds of things for video games. That would be fun. Yeah. But first, it would be pretty fun. I'm gonna finish film school. I'm not gonna go. <gasps> I'm not gonna go do anything else. Film school is very expensive, especially here in Iceland. Um, so mm -hmm. I'm gonna finish that first. Yeah. There, one of the teachers at my school now asked, oh, as we were finishing his course, um, yeah. like asked everyone, like, what's next for you? Like, what do you mm -hmm. wanna do after you graduate from the school? And a lot of us were like saying that we wanted to go to school. Like I, I said that I would, I might go to like, Denmark or Germany to go to continue my education to continue learning more about films and like uh, and like filmmaking and everything like how to how to make mm -hmm. more movies or and maybe even possibly get a job out there um, because yeah. um, in Iceland for instance hold on <laughs> yeah. sorry just a just a little just a little big big yawn just a big Framework yawn is working i mean yeah what just a yawn yep so um like in iceland you there it's really hard to get a job with filmmaking or at least a lot of the teachers have been saying that thanks teachers mm -hmm. thanks for thanks for reminding us that we live in a th th like second world country <laughs> lol <laughs> <gasps> um anyways the um uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I wanna I wanna yeah. maybe get a job in in Denmark or Germany <coughs> where where I could actually get paid, get laid, get a raid, all that shit, you know? Yes, you were you know you were talking for an extended <laughs> period of time just to you know lead up to that joke. Exactly. <laughs> no, Everything you said no, before but was like, a lie. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, I, like if I if I were to. Uh, when I graduate from the school, if I were to go out, I would try to get a job as well uh, in filmmaking in Denmark, for instance, because in Denmark, they have um, actual work weeks with filmmaking. Like a lot of the um, teachers at school went to school in Denmark and they say that like um, they know people who are working in the Danish like filmmaking industry. And they actually mm. have like nine to four or nine to five work weeks. Unlike mm. in Iceland where we, when people are making a movie, th they just film for how long as they, uh, for like as long as they can because it, it's so expensive. So they have to make every time, every hour count, every minute count. This counts, man. Exactly. So like, hey man, quit eating that Snickers. So like, we in don't. In the middle of a production. <laughs> filmmaking in Iceland doesn't really have a work week. It's just always work. It's just work. While if I were to go to Denmark, for instance, I could uh, have just regular eight-hour work weeks. 
mm -hmm. which sounds way better than than whatever the fuck Iceland's doing. <laughs> like pe there are people working twelve hour work weeks, and we had some actors. I think I talked about it in the last podcast. We had actors um, in school who were like talking with us and the last class we had with them we we all had like a big old q a asking them questions mm -hmm. and uh <clears throat> why am i yawning so much shut up um casper's dick in my mouth what <laughs> <laughs> uh, i don't even know what that means no, okay, and, when and i was the actor what did he say uh so one of the actors was asked like what what is the most annoying thing that a director can do and a lot of them or there were like six actors and they all had like different things like one of them said like uh don't like act for your actor like if you're gonna make them act in a scene don't like start acting for them and tell them how you want them to act just like tell them mm. what what feeling you're trying to get from them and and all that stuff and then they will act it for you um, yeah. and, and then one of them said that like good, uh, a good schedule and I'm, and a well, well, like, um, just like, just like a director that knows what he's doing. Basically that's, they, yeah. they like that. They want that. They don't want a director who, who doesn't know what they want from their actors and who's just going to film with them for like 12 to 13 hours because like. He, he just like doesn't know what he's doing and and the teacher like mm. got a little red he got a little yeah. flushed because it's like oh shit <laughs> i did that once where we were driving and i saw something that looked nice and he just literally stopped the car and went, we're gonna film here for a little bit and everyone was like what <laughs> like they did not expect that so and and, <laughs> and it was play. and it was a sex scene too so like he they he just like went to the actors and was like all right you guys are gonna have sex now and they were like what so, you know, and the actors were saying, like, don't never do that to your actors. Don't, like, put them on the spot like that. Make sure that they're prepared and they know what they're getting, uh, like, they know what they're doing next. Yeah, because the actors, that makes sense. Because the actors did not know that they were going to film a sex scene somewhere out in wh wherever the fuck they were. <laughs> Where are we? I'm not going to ask. I'm not going to tell anything. Just keep the bags over your head, okay? Just... <laughs> Just go. Pretend you're having sex, okay? Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Rough house, real rough house, a round house. <laughs> all the way, all the way. Okay, it has to. It bark. has to look real, okay? <laughs> he starts barking at them. <laughs> are you rolling? My bot. Are my dog barks in the in the? Is the camera rolling? Is the camera rolling? God damn it! Is the camera rolling? Don't stop. Uh, but yeah. Um. Oh yeah, and you were wondering what the fuck Casper's dick in your mouth means. When I when I started working at the farmers market, I was like, I was like, I just started working there. I've been there for mm. maybe like two weeks or something. Yeah. Um, I was yawning, like I I showed up at work, and uh, actually no, this wasn't like early in the morning because this was after my coworker shows up, and he usually showed up at like two p.m. and like. Mm. Um, he showed up and I was, I, I think there was like nothing to do. And so like I yawned and uh, because like I was a little tired, just waiting for people yeah. to show up at the store. And he just goes like, Casper's dick in your mouth. And I was just like, what? <laughs> and so he just like started laughing his ass off because like apparently that's like a, a joke where like if you see someone yawning, you say that shit because it's like, you know, there's an, uh, somebody shoving a, a, a phallic object down your throat while uh, like but it's invisible huh, huh yeah. funny either that or satan is <gasps> invisible and stuck nope. stuffing his fist down your throat trying to tear your heart out <laughs> hey guys it's me steve <laughs> hey guys it's me steve <laughs> Why do we? I just wanted to say this podcast is awesome. Hey guys, it's me, Steve. this podcast is sponsored by Jack. I'm not gonna lie, this podcast gets a five out of five from me. <laughs> why? Why do we start doing Steve? <laughs> you brought him in. I was talking about Satan. Wait, you Satan. think Steve is Satan? Yeah. What? <laughs>
<laughs> no, he's not. I'm just, Steve was a great guy. I'm sure of it. He was. Uh, uh, he was thank you, man. I appreciate I, it. When I used to watch Game Grumps, he he was on Guest Grumps. Like they they have this show where they invite like random people on the show, and he actually fucking he did a Guest Grumps episode with them. Um, <laughs> they nice. they they also had Finn Finn Wolfhard, one of the actors from uh, Stranger Things. And they, they also they, had, they also had um, um, uh, had, uh, um, uh, um, uh, um OJ um, Simps. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they also had um, Morgan Freeman. Morgan Freeman. Had, uh, Michael yeah. Jackson. <laughs> what? No. <laughs> How come? Yes, how did. come they get Michael Jackson? Fuck no! God, yeah. Morgan Freeman. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nothing. Michael Jackson. Awuga, awuga. Yeah. Wait, no. What? Are you a furry? Dude, there's a what? No. Where am I? You have just crossed over into the twilight zone. You have just crossed over into the bullshit zone. <laughs> the ball zone. Balls. <laughs> You've just jumped into the ball pit. Wee wee. Ah, wee wee. I'm having so much fun in the ball pit. Wow. Help me, I'm getting sucked in. So you are now being sucked into the ball zone. <laughs> <laughs> we're so what funny if? we're so funny people are probably like wondering what the yeah. fuck's wrong with us uh no everything what if you know you're at a vineyard yep you're doing wine tasting mm -hmm. but then you see like two like wine experts Ooh. and they're like trading wine what's their names like you would trade football cards <laughs> what's their names mac and jim okay they're like, oh man, I've got, I've got Rosé Denise 1867. No what do you way, got? Bro. Oh, I got, I got Corset from 1899. Oh, wanna switch? Hell yeah! You know, like football trading cards. What? Well, and like you're switching. and you're asking, what would I do if I saw that? Yeah, would you like? I'd call the fucking you... police on them. No, well, then you're gonna you're gonna get escorted out of their premises for rude behavior because this is normal for them. They do this every day. <laughs> no, I'm, uh, oh, you got I Lee Mack from do. 1888. I would, I would try oh and God. like, because I, I know nothing about wine and or uh, you know I don't I don't drink wine and I don't know anything about it or anything. But I would still like walk up. And just like pretend I know anything about it, and just like start talking with them, like, oh, really? Whoa! And just like make me. Yeah, friends. you'd fit right in if you were if you were like that. Exactly, know? I would just like make friends with them. Oh, I'd just be like, whoa, sparkling. you guys have that one? Ah, oh, dude, oh, I forgot my wine dude. at home. Ah, oh, dude, shit. I okay. In my pants, I have like three little samples, <laughs> in like little vials, you know. In your pants, you want to taste in, in the pants pockets or just like <laughs> like in inside your pants hey reach in and find out <laughs> fuck around and find out uh oh, did you just say the f word i thought we were over that we only we only say that oh shit my wine is leaking you can't do it oh wait <gasps> you're doing it <laughs> stop <laughs> Thank. I hope everybody's been enjoying this audio experience. Exactly. This is what a wild podcast. What, what should we name this episode? The the, the diarrhea brothers. No. The, no. A tale of two vines. Ooh. Or earthquake woes. Quaking. I was just gonna name it quaking. Quaking my pants. <laughs> quaking my. Quaking in my pants. Yeah. <laughs> Quake in my pants or quaking in my pants? Yeah, quaking in my okay. pants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have we run out of material? We we sure have. Wait. Um, did I tell you about this short film I found last week where... I I saw like a meme video 
and this video had a song in it that I really liked the sound out of. Well, actually, it wasn't a meme video at all. I'm sorry. It was like, it was like a video. A no, not a documentary. It was a, it was a video that was titled "It's Just a Video Game, Bro" or something like that. I guess it was kind of a meme. But it was basically yeah. like that's the title of it, and then it was showing off like beautiful like f like film Oscar worthy like moments in video games where like you know yeah. you it could make a grown like, it could make a grown man cry. It was like so what like story moments? Yes, yeah, sto basically games? story moments from video games. You know, all kinds of like uh. animations and stuff like that. Like there was Last of Us in there. There was the soap dying in in one of the the Call of Duty's. Well, Call of Duty Modern Warfare Two was it? The Sims. Nope. Was Sims in there? There was no The Sims in there. <laughs> <laughs> but it was basically all kinds of like games with cutscenes where like something something like sad happens and um it had this cool song uh, in it called in this shirt and i really liked that in song so i looked it up and i've been listening to it uh on like I'm repeat in my shirt in in this shirt i'm wearing my shirt <laughs> by i'm in this shirt and the band is i like wearing my shirt Ooh, i got a brand new shirt <laughs> got a brand new shirt and and the got a brand new shirt the band is called the Irre the Irrepressibles, and I've never heard about them before uh, until now. And apparently, they made the song for a movie called The Last Circus. And I found this movie on YouTube. I just like Googled it, and it is one of the weirdest short films I have ever seen. <clears throat> oh, really? Yeah. yeah. It's just, How weird. I, there, uh, there's like, I don't understand what the story was supposed to be about. I guess it was just like. I, like I said, it's the last circus, and from mm -hmm. what I gathered from the text is that it's just like a circus that's performing for nobody. They're literally just like performing, and there's no one watching. And the circus, like, mm -hmm. um, <coughs> what do you call him? Not not the boss, but like the manager, I guess. Yeah, he he, yeah. he was. Um, everything he did was like in reverse you know you could like when you were watching him you would see him like moving really weird because it was like re it was in reverse and even so he was walking forward but he, it was no like he he was always reverse. he was always sitting in a chair he you never see him walking yeah. but you see him like his movements are really weird and like so he like opens the paper normally but it's like <laughs> weird looking because it's like filmed in reverse yeah or something. he's holding the paper upside down no he didn't like nothing like that he's just like He's just doing weird shit with his head and stuff. He doesn't do anything really. He's just sitting there and then like so. He's so a fucking idiot. Yeah, he's a dumbass. Me? No, he's just looking around and then standing up every now and then. And then he like goes to like put on a jacket and then he takes it off and sits back down again. And he's like, what? And everything look. It's just like in reverse. And he even speaks in reverse. He's sort of like the narrator for the movie, but whatever he's saying is in reverse. And it's, but it's got subtitles underneath where it's like telling the actual story. So like he's going like, zip, 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 like backwards, and then the subtitles like, this is the last circus. And it's like what, <laughs> what? Hey guys. <laughs> hello, hello everybody. <laughs> oh hello Mario. Um, and it's. Fuck. <laughs> Play that in reverse. Yeah exactly. <laughs> Um, and so like it was it was such universe. A, a weird fucking it was such a weird like short film and then like you see all these circus performers and I think it was all in reverse but I'm not sure if it like all of it was but like a lot of it was where like you could see these circus performers doing their acts and <laughs> the movements just looking weird looking off yeah. so it was kind of yeah. it was kind of like un unnerving to look at i believe you but the the cinematography was good like it, it uh, you know the camera work was beautiful and the music mm. uh, the music is good but it was weird the music is good but the short film the you short. have to admit fucking weird oh, fucking weird so I that's why admit. it gets a zero percent exactly meter. on the moist meter Mm. Hey, what's up, guys? It's critical. Uh, I give hey, what's up, this everybody? movie. It's critical. Uh. I'm playing. 
I'm gonna be listening to the Generally Speaking podcast. Uh, <laughs> hey, what's up, guys? It's me, Critical. Today we're gonna to be talking about uh, the last uh, circus stand. But but we're gonna the flash game. But but we're gonna be talking about it back uh, in reverse. Yeah, brutal zaggies. Yeah, it is no show, but the hell. Yeah, nah. Hey, Willie, so we won't sit. Uh, hey, uh, Alright, hold on, I'm gonna... That's it, that's it, everybody. Remember to rate the video, comment the video, and subscribe if you want to see videos more like this one. Good, goodbye. <laughs> I'm gonna put that in reverse. Alright. Put this in reverse. Hey, uh, what the fuck? Put that in reverse, man. <laughs> Play that in reverse. <laughs> Alright. Well, anyways... I think uh, that's a good end to the podcast, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> be a, be a. That's bye bye backwards. Don't believe me? Don't believe me? Stick a finger up your ass. Bye.